to our camp spot for the night after driving since 6 a.m. It's now 6. So 12 hours of driving today and we found this incredible spot. It is just vast and wild. And we were just speaking to the owners of the site and they said they're currently in a drought, so it's rainy, which is a really good sign. But they said they've had a drought for the last six or seven years, which is just insane. But here we are. You can see that. Through yeah, you can. Awesome. It's almost like a desert. One day I will be good at this. Some little sticks. Right, I'll get you some uh, little ones. Some barbecue, can you? <laughs> oh, nice. Cheers, genius. Fantastic first week. Yes. Which I'm in good friends. Mm. Yeah. And steak and wine and beers. What time did we say we wanted to hit the road? There are more seals. Good morning guys, we stayed on a, another private game reserve last night, another one that we found on Iobalanda run by a young couple, there's 3,000 hectares of just wilderness and you can pretty much camp wherever you please. They do have a little campsite under a tree which we went and checked out but um, it didn't feel quite as wild so we, we drove into well, the desert really. Then we woke up and uh, did some circuit training which was... First group workout yeah. for the trip which we all needed to do. There's about a 10 kilometer gravel road track that we're heading out on to get back onto the N1 to continue our journey to Cedarburg. So, yeah. I'm sure many of you are wondering why we need to cover such a large distance in a very short period of time. And the reason for that is we've been invited to attend a photo shoot with Dometic, Frontrunner and Kadak, which of course we are super excited about. We really don't know what to expect. We've never done anything like this before, so it's going to be pretty new for us.
We made it to the Cedarburg and to our accommodation for the next couple of nights, which is the Zoo Ridge Guest House. We got ourselves and our vehicles prepped, ready for an early start the next day. After finishing up at the shoot, we made our way to Cape Town. And Harry and I had a pretty important stop to make once we got there. Many of you have been asking us about this trip, where is our roof tent and why have we chosen to sleep in the back of the Defender? And there's a very good reason for that. And today we're gonna share that with you. So we're here at Ali Club and we are going to be having the roof conversion, the Icarus done on our landing. We are super excited to have this roof conversion done and if you'd like to see how we got on then make sure you tune into next week's video. Thanks for watching guys.